Laguna 2 was launched on September 12, 1959 at 6.39 a.m. UTC from Site 1 at Baikonur Cosmodrome. After the flyby of the moon by Luna 1, Luna 2's goal was to impact the moon and become the first artificial object to come into contact with the surface of another celestial body. It was a 390.2 kilogram probe launched on the Luna 8K72 rocket, a variant of the R7, with a single small upper stage. Due to technological limitations, the rocket would not coast in a parking orbit until it arrived at the point to do the transfer burn as we would expect a modern rocket to do, but rather had to keep burning throughout. To accomplish this, the upper stage lit low power vernier thrusters first and then at the appropriate time ignited the main engine on the stage. Luna 2 featured Geiger counters, ionizing radiation detectors, a magnetometer, and micrometeorite detectors. As with other Soviet probes, it released a cloud of sodium gas along the way for visual tracking. It impacted the moon east of the Sea of Showers, Mare Imbrium, after a journey of one day and 14 and a half hours. Along with its scientific payloads, it also carried Soviet pennants, and on the visit to the United States, Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev gave President Eisenhower replicas of the pennants. With Pioneer 4 barely entering the lunar sphere of influence, Luna 2 demonstrated clearly that the Soviet Union had better guidance systems as well as more powerful rockets. It would not be until 1964 that the United States would have a successful lunar impactor and that with a Ranger probe nearly the same mass as Luna 2. With that, thank you for watching this mission profile of Luna 2.